Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my, this is taking way longer than I expected, my braids. Hello somebody. Okay, we are channeling 90s poetic justice vibe, probably not. However, they're still cute, okay? So basically, obviously now that we're in quarantine, I have so much time on my hands. And the last time I actually did my braids was 2016 when I was going to Barbados. And I only did them because I didn't want to pay um, 90 pounds to get them done. So I was like, you know what? These people don't have two heads. I'm sure I can learn how to do them. And I actually did. So I did my own braids in 2016. And then now, during this time, I just thought, you know what? I'm probably never gonna have this much time on my hands to like do my braids. Like, I just thought if I want to I can do one braid a day because where am I going where am I rushing to but I actually managed to finish them in one night so I did these kind of um, jumbo braids on myself this is the second time I've done them um, I did them like two or three weeks ago and got really really good feedback from you guys and I just thought you know what it would be good to put um, to make a video on it just because I feel like when I was looking for um, Okay, I just turned off my fan, so hopefully the first bit wasn't too noisy. But, um, yeah, so as I was saying, I felt like when you look for YouTube tutorials on braids, everyone's like, okay, yeah. And then I just parted my hair here, and if you get the hair, and then I just... And then you just start braiding. So you guys can see what I did there, and I'm like, babe, no. No, I complete, completely missed that. So, I wanted to kind of try and do something like maybe a bit closer up or slower for you guys to understand and hopefully it will be a clear tutorial for you to follow now disclaimer obviously these are my stay at home braids so I definitely could have been way more neater with the actual braid and process and um, I'd say all of my braids are cousins and not sisters because yeah I can't lie I wasn't measuring the thickness of the braids I was picking up my partings are just a bit wild um but you know they got the job done so I've left I did the most obviously obviously I've already done the rest of it um but I left these three because I just thought it's a very repetitive process you guys don't need to see me doing my whole head because ain't nobody got time for that so I'm gonna kind of talk you through three these three braids which are the last ones and um yeah hopefully you guys will find the tutorial helpful so before we get into like the complex like actual explanation part I just wanted to let you guys know that I will be doing the elastic band method so this is where you section your hair put an elastic band um, and then start braiding from there now the reason why that worked for me was because at the time I had nails on now we are for one two we are four man down um, and so obviously it is a little bit easier now especially because these these three have come off um, but yeah first of all it was the first tutorial I found and yeah also it was easier for me with my nails I think one of the things that I struggled with with any other method was trying to keep the hair taut so to make sure that the braid was as close to the root as possible um, so yeah that is why I'm using the elastic band method if you don't want to use elastic bands then unfortunately this might not be the tutorial for you. So I just got a pack of a thousand elastic bands from Amazon. Everything that I use is going to be linked below. Okay, so to start, I have sectioned my hair. So I used a um, metal tooth comb to do this just because you want them to look as neat and um, defined as possible. So I'm just going to clip, use a metal clip to just pull the rest of the hair out of the way just so hopefully you guys can see as much as possible. And I will zoom... Ah! I will zoom in for you once I start braiding. I just don't want to mess those braids up. Okay, so I'm going to untwist this hair. So me, for me personally, I don't like using heat on my hair. However, for braids, I just feel like when I didn't blow dry my hair, the ends would be frayed. And so you see that coming out of the braids. So for me personally, to make it look as neat as possible, I did use heat. However, obviously it is up to you. You guys can do what you want. But yeah, that's what I use. Now, because I don't use heat on my hair, it's very, very important that my hair is protected. So I am using the Design Essentials Ag Agave and Lavender Blow Dry Primer, which is a heat protectant and also I think it, it gives your hair like shine and stuff. Now I broke the bottle, so I've put it into this little small one, but just so you know, when I'm spraying, that's what this is. So I'm gonna spray some heat protectant on my hair. Now there's two ways to have done this hairstyle, so 
the first option is you could have sectioned all your hair put elastic bands in all your hair then start a braid, braid it now the benefit of that is obviously like once you've you've done it all you can put your conditioner your primer everything away and just braid whereas the alternative is to just do it as you go along so make a part elastic band gel da 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 then braid next one elastic part gel that doesn't even make sense but you guys know what I mean one by one as you go um so the first time I did one by one this time I sectioned it um all prior and I can't really tell you how much whether it makes a difference really I feel like this way should save time um just because you're just using just hair at that point it's not going back to the conditioner and stuff I don't know it's up to you it, I think it's really about personal choice so I've primed my hair with the heat protectant and I'm going to use my Revlon um, hair dryer I'm just going to go through and just um, blow dry the ends All right now this is really really good for afro hair because I feel like this attachment well it's not an attachment because this is the whole hair dryer however I just feel like it glides through my hair really smoothly I feel like you don't have to do as many passes and I think it's kind of like the cheaper version of the Dyson I I do not have Dyson hair dryer money okay um, so this was about 30 something pounds on Amazon it has the cool setting and it has um, two heat settings as well which I think is really really good okay so obviously we're not trying to get it actual like bone straight as you might normally do um but then i'm gonna it's really important to keep your hair hydrated obviously while it's in the braids so i'm using the Care um leave-in conditioner so this is the second step in um i think the full kind of um hair routine i don't know what to call it so i'm just going to use that run that through the hair And then finally to lock that in, then I'm going to be using coconut oil just to lock in and seal that moisture. Oh, my coconut oil is actually liquid right now, which means it's officially summertime. So I'm just going to run that through my hair, particularly focusing on the ends. I tend to have like quite dry ends. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm also taking, again, this is by Care Care, and this is their Edge Tamer. So I'm just going to take that and put it all around. You're just trying to grab away all of your flyaways. Now, the reason why I like this edge tamer particularly is because it does not crest. And I feel like that is very important with this hair. And I think, to be fair, I'll be honest with you, I don't think you need to gel all of the braids. Like, if you want to leave the middle parts or the back bits, I don't think they necessarily need this gel um, but you definitely definitely want to use it for the front two rows because these are the ones that are going to be most visible I'll be honest with you when it comes to my hair if I can't see it that is not my problem and it's so bad and my friend always shouts at me for this um, but like even with my wig I can't like when it starts lifting I'm very much like if it's out of sight out of mind child can't I um, it's such a bad habit but yeah so I only have a like my main focus tends to be these front bits that are visible to me okay now I'm gonna use my um, edges brush which again I got from Amazon just to make sure that most as much as possible of my flyaways are kind of like taken in now you can if you want try and do styles at this point which I feel like do eventually lift, but hey ho. Just make their swoosh into the style. Completely up to you. Because obviously you can still add and layer your baby hairs at a later stage. Okay, so normally, so I can get the elastic band as close to the root as possible, I'll twist it on itself. So I don't know if you, any of you have ever done banty knots. You see how you start that twist. So I don't know if you guys can see right at the base there. I've kind of twisted it as if I'm about to start a bandy knot and then I'm going to take my elastic band and tie that right at the root of this twist pulling it to the side so that it stays as taut as possible now you want the elastic band to be in the middle of that section just depending on how you want your braids to sit I know this braid obviously it's right in the center of my head I want it to be leaning to the right so when I braid I am going to be braiding to the right hand side and so what I'll do right at the end try and keep it as close to the root as possible but if it's not as long as it's if it's too far from the root 
take it out and start again but if it's only a little bit I just split the hair in two and pull so it's gone right to the base the problem is if there's too much space you're gonna push up these edges that you just slicked so that is the first step we have slicked so like I said you can go around and do all of your partings like this before you start braiding or you can do them as you go completely up to you okay so I've brought you in a little bit closer long story short I have opened my expressions, I pulled each end, like at the ends, so that they would be feathered and not a blunt cut. If you want a blunt cut, use them as they come, however I want mine to kind of like, what's the word? There's a word. Not tape, tape, taper, taper out at the end, I think. Um, so what I did was that I grabbed two pieces, so this is, um, I'd say this is one third, this is two thirds of the expressions, and linked them over. Yeah? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the smaller third and I'm going to put my thumb and my forefinger on that knot, not a knot, but like where those two um, are perpendicular to each other. I just wanted to use the word perpendicular, I can't lie, I've not used maths since school, so feeling hella smart um, and I'm going to take exactly where I've joined that I'm going to put my finger onto where exactly where the elastic band is yeah guys I really hope this makes sense for you so again making folding them in half right in the middle I'm holding where the two pieces of hair can join then where that knot is or where the hair meets I'm putting my forefingers on the knot and my thumb is on the elastic band yeah now I'm gonna take one piece of hair so this is from the two-third bundle I'm gonna wrap that under yeah so I'm going round with that and then I'm gonna go around again this is for me personally how I can make it the most secure. You can go around once if you want. Now, I'm holding this very, very taut in my right hand. Yeah? And I want to take my thumb out so it's under. So, I want to take my thumb out of that loop just so it's on top of the hair. Now, this is the hair that I wrapped around, yeah? And I'm going to hold, I'm going to put my finger under and grab the other end of the two-thirds hair. So now what I've got is this is the part that I wrap around twice of the two-thirds and this is the other piece of the two-thirds. This is how I stop my braids. Now I'm going to put this thumb and forefinger and then with my middle finger I'm grabbing the other end of the two-thirds again trying to keep it all as close to the root as possible and then the part that had the one-third and my natural hair I'm holding with my thumb and forefinger of my left hand and bringing that through. Okay. Now most of you know how to braid so I don't want to insult you. But then you start braiding. So I'm hoping that the planting part makes sense. Obviously I'm going to show you guys again. But you just start braiding from that process. And eventually obviously your natural hair will run out and you're just going to be braiding with the expressions as much as possible. Between your braids, try and take like your hand through to the end so that you don't get like knots built up at the end. And it's very, very important that you braid your hair in the direction that you're going to be wearing it. So, because obviously I've got a middle part, but I want my hair, I've got a parting in the middle, but I'm going to be wearing my hair to this side. Hopefully that makes sense. So, it's important that I braid this braid to this side. Why? Because if you don't, you're going to be pulling your hair. I mean, I feel like the good thing about this video is that obviously everything's the same. So, even if you feel like you missed anything, YouTube lets you slow down the video. So, you can slow it down if you need to. You can rewind. Whatever you need to do to catch that part, you can do it. Okay, so I'm going to go through the whole process again. I took a little break. I'm just going to fast forward through this part. Obviously, it's going to be exactly the same process as what I just did in terms of the sectioning. The only difference this time around is I am going to be using Gorilla Snot as well as the um, Kerry Care 
edge tamer so yeah in case i never mentioned it before as well um I feel like I'm actually going to end up talking instead of fast forwarding, like I said. But in case I didn't mention it before, make sure that your hair is freshly washed. Um, obviously, you want these braids to last as long as possible. It's not an easy process. It's not something you want to be doing weekly. Um, so, the f so the fresher your hair is when you start, the, the better it's going to be for you. Obviously, right now, I think expressions have been hard to get hold of. I'm going to link the ones that I bought. And if I find any other stocked elsewhere, I will add those as well. But... Um, I couldn't find just the regular expression so I just searched on Amazon Kinecolon, um braiding hair and that's where I found mine one thing to note is that some people have sensitive heads and apparently I'm one of those people so actually the what you'll find with Kinecolon hair generally which includes expressions expressions is just the brand is that um, they are coated in some sort of chemical film and some people react to that so I'm one of those people so if you ever find your braids itching you after the first day and you're just like what the hell is happening you probably are just kind of reacting to the chemicals in the hair now one thing you can do to kind of um, preempt that is to soak your braids in warm water and apple cider vinegar this is before you braid the hair to use warm water and apple cider vinegar now what that does if you leave it in the water for a little bit it'll actually just I don't know how can't tell you the science behind it but um, literally you'll get a film the film over the expressions will just lift and so whenever you do get around to braiding your hair ideally fingers crossed you guys won't react so that's just a an aside in case you do end up being sensitive to um, Kineclon braiding hair but yeah I'm gonna force fast forwarding it now I'm actually gonna just bring you guys in closer again so you guys can see and we're gonna go through this braiding process again now I don't know how helpful probably not at all I was before in terms of like how much hair to take obviously as I mentioned it does depend just on how thick you want the braids in terms of a guideline if you want to see how much I actually used um, I'm going to say that the full piece extended across two sections, when I say sections I mean on your finger, one, two, three, so these two, I can't count, these two sections of your finger is where mine is. Now I can't lie, I'm a very bad example because I have fingers of a baby. My hands are the hands of an eight year old and I, <laughs> I was asking my like, do you not feel like you're holding hands with an eight year old but you know he loves me regardless now as I mentioned before it is very important that you do it into thirds and not halves just because of how they join up because this one third like I said joins your natural hair whereas these two stand alone when you braid so um, that's very important and again we're crossing one over the other and then just folding it over like that so you have a link of hair now I'm gonna again we are making a t-shape I'm right-handed just in case that helps in terms of how you hold it I'm bringing you in so we've got not left hand I don't know if I'm good enough to edit this but I'm going to try to keep a number on which strand of hair is which so the middle strand we're going to call them a b c okay a is the two-third part that we don't do anything with b is the one-third part that gets attached to your natural hair and c is the one third two-third part that goes round and round okay now what you can do actually is maybe pull C a little bit longer so it's longer on this side because it's going to go around twice and you want it to all be the same length when you finish. So maybe pull it so that your knot, knot, is, isn't right in the middle, okay? So fingers on the knot, forefinger on the knot, thumb on the elastic band, C goes around again watch how it loops on your thumb make sure that's taut so pull 
remove it from your thumb, especially if you've got nails, so it's taut. And C goes round again. Again, on your thumb, make sure it's taut and put your finger back on there. So you've got forefinger and thumb holding at the knot. What you're going to do, you're going to bring A, this is the two thirds that Neth has been done with, bring it through your arm just so it's everything's on the same side and B, you're going to move it over to the left. So right now you've got A and you've got C and A next to each other. Now the middle finger of your right hand is going to grab C. So what we've done is we've created a twist there and then we're going to put B through the middle and then your braiding has started. Now I've seen people do knotless braids, it's incredible to me, cannot relate, haven't tried it actually but I feel like for me I need all the knots I can get because I just don't like when mine gets loose and I just don't think I'm skilled enough to make it taut by itself. Now you can see I don't love this join here, I don't know what happened with my braid, but you know what? It's quarantine. You know? Who gonna check me? Not you! If I was being super careful, I would have started that again, I won't lie, but mm, can't be stressed. So, just braiding it again remember to follow I'm going to stand up a bit Ooh. follow the braid through to the end here just so you don't get any knots and with braiding 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 right now obviously because I just wing it all and I'm not a serious candidate my braids end up with so many different lengths like literally last time if you guys saw in my last video when I did the quarantine haul, um, I had one braid that like went down to my knee for no no damn reason, unprovoked. And I just, I looked at it and I thought, I'm going to come back and redo that. And then afterwards I thought, for who? Who gonna check me? So I left it. I'm going to stop recording and I'll start again when I am planting my last braid. I feel like you guys get the section partitioning bit. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to bore you with that any longer than I already have. <laughs> okay, guys, this is your last chance to get it. I am rooting for you, and I know you've got it. And I'm just hoping that each time I've explained it, it's gotten clearer for you. If my ABC explanation didn't work, I'm going to do it one more time differently, hopefully. So at least you guys know, out of these one, two, three braids that I've done on camera, one of them will make sense for you. I'm praying. So... For the last time, say it with me now. <sighs> Left hand has your one third braid in it. Foot, forefinger, I don't know why I keep calling it forefinger, it's an index finger. Index finger and thumb holding those two pieces together in a T shape. Then you place the knot of these hair, this hair on top and your thumb is now holding the rubber band, so your natural hair at the bottom right hand of the two-third goes under yeah we're bringing it around and don't forget this knot hopefully you guys can see is on our finger we don't want that because we want it to be as taut as possible so pull yeah and it goes under again and over again we want it taut as possible so pull now the other half of this hair this two-third hair we want to bring it through so that they're next to each other, okay? They are Siamese twins. We need to reunite them. Yeah. And you know what would make them closer? If we twisted them. So, we're holding the part that we just wrapped around twice in our right hand. And this other half of the two thirds that we just brought through, we're grabbing with our middle finger and we're twisting them on themselves. Yeah? Now, in our left hand, we've still got our natural... My face is sweating. In our left hand we still have our natural hair and the um, one third of hair, yeah? And we're going to use our middle finger to get between those twins and pull, yeah? And we're wrapping them all on themselves. So your middle finger is going through each time, grabbing the other. And it's a wrap. 
where Brayden. That's it. I feel like that's as simple as I could go for you guys, okay? Just remember, after you've wrapped the knot, you just want to bring the sisters back together. Reunite them before you start bringing in your natural hair. I don't know why. I couldn't tell you the science behind it. But for me, and as for me and my hands, that's what worked for me best. You guys obviously can play with this routine maybe my knots are too big for you at the root maybe you just want to wrap the hair around twice experiment just see how taught and you guys may be well more skilled than i am you might be able to hold it in place with just one knot around i just needed two personally um and we are braiding through to the end now bear in mind i've not trimmed it i've not my hair's all different lengths and like I said they are cousins not twins or sisters but that's it it's all done you guys can see I know my the, my head back is a bit whoo, it's a bit wayward in terms of my partings but yeah let me zoom out for you guys okay so this is the finished look I told you the partings are a bit hickey hagger at the back but for me, all that matters is that the sense makes front, which <laughs> the front makes sense, which I feel that it does. And like the sentence I just said, um, I want you guys, I can't lie, I didn't finish getting dressed today. <laughs> I want you guys just to see the length of the hair. So it comes up um, just past my hips. So actually probably the ends, ends and mid thigh. But like I said, I still need to trim them neaten up the um, braids as they're going down and also dip it in hot water and then that will be me for at least the next few weeks um like i said so many times throughout the video i really hope that it was useful for you guys this video was definitely a labor of love for me because i know how hard it is to go through videos where like i said you know you just don't feel like it was being explained properly or like you just get frustrated because you're not getting it so i'm hoping that at least one of my three different explanations um helped you guys if you guys want to see like more tutorial type videos let me know what it is that you want to see below i really want to be focusing on creating content that you guys want to see so um yeah just drop a little message below find me on instagram message me on there as always please make sure that you like comment share send it to your friend who's been talking about doing braids for the longest time and it's been making excuses okay let them see how easy it is um like i said at the beginning i will link everything that i use in this video below for you um as best as possible find your alternatives especially for the expressions i know they're hard to find at the moment um and yeah Thank you so much for watching, especially if you stuck through with me the whole way. <laughs> um, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!